grumpy. What's wrong? You okay? I think he might just be sleepy. I'm not sure, but any hoozles. Hello, everybody. It's time for a review. Is everyone excited? I know I'm excited. <laughs> so we're doing a review for Rear's Dinosaur. And this video is sponsored by Littles Down Under. Okay, so first off the bat, I have the packet here. The packet's empty because I only had two left. This one that I have on right now and this one here that I can open up and show you guys some of the features. Um, it just makes me really sad to look at this empty packet and go, this used to be full of fun stuff and now it's full of memories. Anyway, okay, first off the bat, my very favourite thing about these diapies is that um, the characters have a backstory. Never in my life have I encountered diapies with a backstory. Well, it's not so much a backstory is as that it um, all the characters have names, which I think is amazing. So as you can see, like there's all there's dinosaurs all over these, but every single dinosaur on this one. Oh, bye. I had a friend who was helping me, and now he's gone. So every single dinosaur that's on this diaper has a name. So. There's Rose the Yellow Three Horn, which I'm pretty sure is this one, because she kind of looks like a Triceratops. Jack the Blue Spike Tail, I'm thinking is this guy. Um, Lacey the Yellow Spike Tail. Lacey. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe Lacey's hiding, I'm not sure. Um, Oscar the, oh, it's him, Oscar the baby yellow spike tail, look at him, I don't know if you can see that, but he's, he's sitting in an egg, because he's a baby and he's only just been hatched, <laughs> that's so cute, um, Milo is the grey hollow horn, I'm pretty sure that's him, um, Junie is the green hollow horn, that's her. Uh, Buddy is the grey long horn, or that might be a long horn. Hollow horn. I don't know what a hollow horn is, but that bit's long, so that, you know, that might be him or her. I, 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 blah, blah. Anyway, um, Max is the green T Rex, which I'm definitely positively sure is this guy because this is my own green T-Rex and like the resemblance is it, it's just it's just striking it's unmistakable also I really like my dinosaur because he's got a bulgy head and he's just he's just trying his best and he needs to be looked after and Molly is um, Max's friend and she's a blue T-Rex so yeah I thought that was really nifty when I found that out, it was really too. So, my first, um, what's the word? My first impressions of the diapy. So, pachow! Is that I really like the shape of it. So I've had problems with diapies in the past where like the front panel is way too wide and it makes it really uncomfortable on my legs, but this one has, has a nice width to it. So it's not too thin, it's not too wide. Um, they have, let's see, they have elastic waistbands at the front and at the back. The back one is a little bit more heavy duty than the front, which is, yeah, fair. Um, let me see, they are four tapes. Um, the leg gathers was the second thing that really stuck out at me, that they are, they're just really tall. And I think it says on their website they're designed so that um, you can easily put stuffers and stuff in there. But I'll I'll, I'll get back to that later. Um, but there's double leg gathers and they're both really really elasticated and the the, the leg gathers extend pretty much the whole length of the diaper, which I you know I'm a fan of. Um, and also that the 
I don't know if they're staff or pulp, but it extends really far into the wings in the front and in the back, which is also a plus. So excellent for lying down. Um, another cute thing is that the wetness indicator is the words. So they say rears all over them and they say raw um, and they disappear as, as you wet, which is just so toot. Um, as well as like, I've done that thing again. I made, I made a list while I was little and again I just wrote toot under prose. Why do I constantly do this to myself? I'm so sorry you guys. It's true though. They are quite toot. Cute. <laughs> But, um, let me see, what else did we have? Uh, I haven't had a tape, like, popped a tape yet, and I've worn the whole packet. So I think the tapes are quite, they're quite good. They say that they are, um, like, adjustable, refastenable. I haven't, I can't comment on that because I haven't had to refasten a tape yet. Um, but I can let you guys know later on. If for some reason I do need to refasten a tape, whether or not they are actually really refastenable. Um, the plastic outer is is pretty soft. Like um, I can't remember what the other brand is that has a similar sort of soft feeling plastic outer. Um, I'll let you guys know if I figure it out. Um, but yeah, the the outer is really soft. Um, so I would say these ones are really really good for wearing overnight just because of how soft they are and because of how absorbent they are so the packet let's see what does it say it has some info on it um 6.2 liter capacity which is a heck ton um and it says that they're, they're good for 12 hour protection which i kind of believe so i put one on the one that i wore overnight last night um i had to do it it was a test it was for science um, I put it on at about, let me see, I got home at about 9.30, so I put it on maybe 9.45. I didn't take it off until, um, it was about an hour ago, so I didn't take it off until about 11 o'clock in the morning the following day, which is pretty sweet. Um, it wasn't really showing any signs of beginning to leak at that point which I thought which I was pretty impressed with um, and when I did take it off I noticed that there was a lot of the a lot of the inner wasn't wet at all it was just sort of in this middle part here um, and it could have standard to stay on for like quite a while longer um, and I pee a lot like I would have wet maybe Twice before I fell asleep at night, who knows how many times overnight, and then maybe about four, five times in the morning between when I woke up at seven and took it off at eleven. So it's it's pretty good. Um, I don't know if I would have hit the you know six liter mark, but I'm, I think I'm going to test this one for a bit longer see exactly how long I can push it. That, that'll be an interesting thing to, to show you guys that I've just decided to do mid-video. So get ready for a heck ton of b-roll of me just drinking large bottles of water. I don't wanna do it. For you. For you guys. That's the only reason. Boring. It sucks. Who drinks this? Oh, oh, you can do this. You can do this. Ah, it's good for you. Come on, drink it. It's good. It's great. Oh, it's amazing. I will never understand how people can actually like drinking water. It's just bizarre. There's so many other things that you could drink that taste good. Ah, 
Okay, surely it's almost done. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't wanna. It's yucky. Do it. Do it for the video. Do it for the health. Yowie, help me. Help me. I'm about to drown. I know. It's like he doesn't even care at all. He's pretending he cares, but he doesn't really. If you could just, just move. Just, just move. Ah, oh. Thanks, Lowie. You're a good boy. Maybe if I hide under a blanket, the water will go away and I won't have to drink it. And be proud of me because I hate drinking water. And if this is what gets me to drink water, then thanks, Rias. You're helping me be healthy. <laughs> ah. Okay. Um, cons. I'm kind of struggling to think of something that could be inherently called a con. I can think of some things um, that you could put a negative spin on if you were so inclined, but you could also put a positive spin on those same things. So, one is when I woke up in the morning, oh, I could smell was pee, but I feel like that goes with the territory, like it wasn't a gross pee smell like some other nappies that I have very strong feelings about, and I promise you I will do a review on those nappies, but nah, stop it, stop it. I feel like I always bring up these nappies, and I need to not do that anymore. I need to actually do the review and stop just making snide comments about them. Um, <laughs> but yeah, not um, not a not a horrible pee smell, like not a gross pee smell, but I could definitely smell it. I think that just goes with the territory of being a nappy that is so absorbent, like of odor, like it, it says on the packet, odor control, like superior odor protection. Um, and there's only so far that you can get with odor control before you can before you can start smelling the pee. And like I said, I had it on for 12 plus hours. Um, so it makes sense that it would start to smell a little bit like pee because it's full of pee. <laughs> the second thing that you could, in theory, put a negative spin on. So they're advertised as having a reinforced front panel. But the only bad thing about that is Am I making my point yet? They are the loudest. I like them. I like them a whole bunch. But I think maybe... It might be an idea to save these for inside times. <laughs> so, if you're going to a littles party, it would be really easy to um, put together a dinosaur themed outfit. Bring your Peppy. Are you Don't bring your Peppy to an event. Like she's she can't be trusted. She's very naughty. Bring your um stuffed dinosaur friend with you. Wear a green t-shirt or a blue t-shirt. Dress up as um Molly or Max 
or Lacey, or I can't remember what the other ones are called because there's so many friends on my buns. Um, or wear them overnight and wear them to sleep because they are very, very, very good for wearing overnight. They are very absorby and they're comfy because they're so soft. Um, things that they are not so good for. Crinkle, crinkle, little. Bye, baby. Bye, be. How I wonder. Gripey, swipey, pipey. I don't think any word rhymes with dipey. So that's my review. Um, so just to recap, thumbs up. <laughs> They're good. Um, I like I like the pattern as I've as I've already said multiple times, and I like the fact that they're quite gender neutral as well. Because I know a lot of diapies have um. Like they have cute patterns, but um, a lot of them, not everybody wants to wear, you know, camo print. Um, not everybody wants to wear unicorns or pink stuff, but I think lots of people like dinosaurs. But not that, not that I'm trying to say that patterns are, like, patterns or colours are inherently gendered. Um, but I know a lot of people have like a color scheme or a pattern that they enjoy wearing when they're little and I'm just saying that these patterns, this pattern rather, um, could, could go, could go with anybody, which is a very good thing. Um, in case I didn't make my point already, they are very, very, very loud. They are the crinkliest crinkle ever. And like I was saying, um, not inherently negative. If you like to wear crinkly nappies, good. Good for you, that's awesome. I'm just saying that if you feel a little bit, I don't know, uncomfortable about the idea of people maybe noticing that you're wearing, and like I've said in previous videos, nobody will notice. Well, nobody is likely to notice. Um, but if you are worried about that, then maybe these ones with their stereosonic crinkle aren't the best for outside wear. They're excellent for nighttime. They're excellent for if you're feeling like you want to roar and be a dinosaur. Do you have anything you'd like to add? I don't think Beppa really cares, honestly. She's just a puppy. And there's a cat about to come into the room, so she's about to jump off the bed. Please don't. Aww, my girl is so good. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching my video. Um, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, that would be really, really helpful. And if you want to grab yourself some of these, some of these, um, head over to littlesdownunder.com.au and get yourself some. If you use code DARCY5, then you can get 5% off your next order. Um, what else do I need to say? Um, follow me on Instagram, I suppose. And, oh yeah, have a nice day. <laughs> Bye, everybody. They also work good as a hat. <laughs> crinkle, crinkle, little nasty. Oh, how you make me happy.